Hi, I am going to recap the 2022 action thriller movie, Carter. In the midst of a deadly pandemic caused by a virus which makes the infected people violent and zombie-like, originating from the DMZ that has already devastated the US and North Korea, a man awakens in a blood-soaked bed, a motel room in Seoul, with a cross-formed scar on the back of his head. He is interrupted by armed CIA agents who threaten him to ask the whereabouts from Dr. Jung Byung Ho. Dr. Jung and his daughter have been missing for 19 days, as reported on the news, en route to North Korea. Without any memories of his past, he doesn't know he is or why he is there. Not to mention who Dr. Jung is. A female voice inside his ear, which only he can hear, tells him that he is Carter, and he needs to follow her instructions if he wants to live. Following the voice, he escapes from the room inside a van of NIS agents, strategic agents of North Korea, Choi Yu Jin. The female voice reveals that she is Jung Hee, who works for North Korea's Labor Party, which is working with South Korea to make a treatment for the virus. Dr. Jung, who successfully cured his own infected daughter, Hana, leads the project based on an antibody from her. On the way to a laboratory in North Korea, where North had made a large-scale preps to produce 100 million vaccine shots, Hana and Dr. Jung disappeared and was presumed to have been kidnapped by CIA. North Korea is blaming South for this kidnapping, as a conspiracy to destroy the North's infrastructure. Carter is entrusted with rescuing Hana and taking her back to North Korean facility, where the production of a vaccine is in progress. At the point when Carter questions his identity and why he has taken part in this mission, he is informed that he is a South Korean, a CIA agent, born naturalized citizen of North Korea. Carter fell in love with a North Korean lady and married her, who has chosen to participate in the mission to save his infected daughter. She is imprisoned in North Korea, they say. He was the person who directed to have his memory blocked. Carter is taken to the building where Hana has been detained. In any case, CIA agents who approach him claim that he is really a previous CIA agent named Michael Bain, who was believed to be dead during a mission in Syria. Young Hee allows her signal to be tracked to Carter's molar, and the CIA takes the molar out. Jung Hee lets Carter know that the molar will detonate in five seconds, giving him a chance to escape. They hide among the crowds in the streets and watch the news that says that Dr. Jung Byung Ho has figured out how to reach the research facility in North Korea. Agent Agnes approaches Carter and asks him to trust her. She blocks Jung Hee's signal to Carter, but she is shot. Hana is kidnapped by the CIA and Choi Yu Jin attempts to save her. Choi Yu Jin is killed, yet Carter reaches in time to save Hana. In the meantime, using Agnes's earpiece, Carter knows that CIA has established his identity as Michael Bain and are planning to kill him. Carter eliminates the whole CIA crew. Young Hee guides Carter to an airstrip and onto a plane to North Korea. The troubles are not finished yet, as the pilots on the plane are given coffee that infects them with the virus. It was the North Korean medic on the plane who was attempting to kill Hana and Carter by drawing them to the cargo hold. Chief Kim is responsible for security on the plane. He is South Korean, and he shoots the medic to save them both. He questions the medic about who made the virus, since it can lead an overthrow against the current regime in North Korea. The medic admits that he is working for the CIA just like Carter. Kim is killed in the shootout. The medic sets off an explosive, which tears an opening in the plane. The medic gets back to the main area of the plane and lets both the South and North Koreans know that Kim was working for the CIA and attempted to kill Hana. Before this can be sorted, the infected pilot assault the main area of the plane. The medic uses the confusion to attempt to escape with a parachute and Hana. Yet Carter was still in the cargo hold. As the medic jumps, Carter pursues him without a parachute. He takes Hana and the parachute midair and lands safely. On the ground, Carter is again attacked by CIA groups and Carter needs to ward them off. Carter is then attacked by hordes of zombies whom he shoots before escaping. In any case, 
Carter figures out how to arrive North Korea with Hana, where they meet Young Hee and her superior North Korean General Kim. At the point when he is at the edge of finishing his mission and getting his memories back, he and Jung Hee are betrayed by a North Korean military coup led by General Kim. General Kim will not allow Carter to leave, since the deal was made by the party and not him. Kim plans to use the virus to destroy South Korea and the US so he can make new world order with the vaccine in his control. Carter escapes from Kim's soldiers who attempt to kill him. Carter follows General Kim and Young Hee to a bioclinical facility. General Kim persuades Young Hee to join the coup. Carter entered the laboratory facility. Hana is in the possession of military, rejoining with her dad, Dr. Jung Byung Ho. He discovers that Jung Hee is his wife and shoots Kim, who threatens Jung Hee with a gun. At the same facility, they meet their inflected daughter, Yoon Hee, who acts violently and transmits the infection to her mom, Yoon Hee. Dr. Jung Byung Ho injects Yoon Hee an antidote, which makes her temporary unconscious. After fighting against the infected patients and Kim's soldiers, they escape the facility on a jeep. The five, Carter, Jung Hee, Yoon Hee, Dr. Jung, and Hana leaves to get a train operated by Chinese government, carrying infected people to Dandong, China. Jung Hee says that they need to stop the train or else the virus will spread worldwide. On the way, Jung Hee and Dr. Jung get Carter's memories back by initiating a device back on his head. Carter recalls that he agreed on this mission in return of his family's freedom. They had been detained as North Korea had found that Carter was a secret CIA spy, and it was he who proposed to block his memories to guarantee that he will not betray the North Korea. In the midst of continuous chase and fights with North Korean coup, then Yung Hee sends Carter, Hana, and Yoon Hee ahead to catch the train, while she and Dr. Jung hold back the soldiers. Carter boards the train and figures out how to fend off the North Koreans attempting to kill him and take Hana back. General Kim had survived and led the North Korean assault on Carter. Jung Hee and Dr. Jung find the train on a truck. Carter kills General Kim in his helicopter and joins Young Hee on the train with Dr. Jung, Hana, and Yoon Hee. Yoon Hee awakens, obviously cured from the infection. As the train is crossing the bridge, the bridge explodes, probably with the bomb planted by the CIA, making the train head for a fall. And the movie ends here. Hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Click her to watch more of my videos. Thank you.